engineers at the Innovation Academy for Microsatellites at the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Shanghai are busy packaging the swarm, readying it for delivery to the Xichang Satellite Launch Center, a major outcome of scientific cooperation between China and France. So we can say that this mission swarm will take the hand in order to study the gamma ray bursts and to and I think that we can say that it will be one of the most advanced missions for the scientists. The China National Space Administration and the French Space Agency approved the SWARM mission in 2006. In 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping and then French President François Hollande oversaw the renewal of the Memorandum of Understanding for the project. From Equipped with two French and two Chinese scientific payloads, the satellite is designed to assist research into the origins of the universe. Space technology is an area of close cooperation between China and France. The first jointly developed oceanographic satellite was launched in 2018. The Swarm satellite represents a new chapter. We've been through many difficulties, but uh, what's interesting to understand is that with the team we are building, uh, we overcome all, all these difficulties. And uh, what we can say that uh, the team is unique. It's a French and Chinese team. The Innovation Academy for Microsatellites at the Chinese Academy of Sciences is responsible for coordinating and assembling the whole swarm system. We have developed a large scale of a large scale of 2024 marks 60 years since China established formal diplomatic relations with France. Scientists working on the mission expect more collaboration in the space sector between the two countries. The swarm satellite will be delivered to the Xichang Satellite Launch Center for further assembly and tests. French and Chinese scientists are expecting a successful launch around the middle of the year.